the uh, first professional fight. Got a great one in Ismael Salas and Miguel Diaz, our pal from Las Vegas, his cut man. He's got Mr. Casse, a former OPBF champion, working his corner. And of course, he's got the Tato Yamamoto, who works in his corner. All good men. All right, here's Michael Buffer standing by to get this one underway. Here's Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Venetian Macau, this is the Ring of Gold, brought to you by Bob Arum's top rank and sponsored by Tecate Con Character. The three judges at ringside scoring will be Surat Suikrachan, Edgar Olalo, and Selvin Lugambe. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, the referee, Saweng Tawetkun. And now eight rounds of boxing. This is in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing dark green trimmed with gold, official weight, 160, one half pounds. As a professional, an outstanding record, consisting of 28 victories, including 12 knockouts, only three defeats with two draws. From Santana de Pamaba, Sao Paulo, Brazil, he is Carlos the Butcher Nascimento. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the multicolored trunks, official weight, 161, one half pounds. This Olympic gold medal champion, now as a professional, is undefeated in two fights with two victories. He's from Tokyo, and he is the Olympic gold, fighting pride of Japan, the undefeated Ryota Murata. All right, so we're set to go. Tawakon is the um, referee. Okay, my command is important. When I say stop, you stop. When I say break, you one full step back. And protect yourself all time. Good luck. The usual protect yourself at all times can come into play here. <laughs> so Royoto Morata. He's decked out in the multicolored trunks. And in the green with the yellow trim of the, the Brazilian okay. flag is Look. Nascimento. That's Nascimento with his back to you here in the early going. You can see that Morata is considerably taller. This guy was the Olympic gold medalist in the London game. He stopped Falco, the Brazilian fighter. So it's strange that in this fight, he's fighting the uh, Brazilian fighter. Brazilian short with the jab. Not really busy here on the catching side. Nascimento's got a very good record, 28-3 with 22 knockouts. I'd shot, but mostly taken on the uh, shoulder of Nascimento. Like jab there. Nobu Igoshima, who works with all of the uh, Mr. Honda fighters, tells me. This guy is very clever in the ring. He'll let guys do exactly that, and then he'll come right back. Every time he gets hit, he'll make his opponent pay, and he's doing that right now. One thing I noticed, Nascimento, when he closes up, he doesn't protect the left side of his head, and he's going to get hit to the left side of his head by this guy, Murata. And there it is again. He drops his shoulder and leaves his hand down there, and he's wide open for the right-hand power shot. And there it is, and there it is again. And eventually, if Nascimento doesn't adjust to that, see, he holds his glove flat in front of his left eye, and his whole side of his head is exposed quite a bit, as opposed to the peekaboo style you've seen in fighters where they d tuck their head right into their gloves. He doesn't do that. He protects the front part of his face, but he doesn't protect the ear. 
Now these shots, the crowd is ooing and ahhing from afar, but there's no power behind them at all. Which is kind of strange because Nascimento actually has 22 knockouts and 28 victories in his professional career. See, again, the right hand is getting through. And he's lazy getting it back up after he gets tapped in the chin. He's going to get cracked by Morata real hard with that right hand. See, these shots aren't hurting him at all. There's the right hand again. Behind the glove and on the ear. Left hook sets it up that time. Nice sneaky uppercut in the inside. I see what uh, Mr. Ikoshima has been telling me about this guy. You land one and you take three. Good job by Morato winning that first round. That's a 10-9 round. This is scheduled for eight. And I like everything I see from Morata. So I saw him in the Olympics. Morata, number one, try to keep your distance. It's so important to keep your distance. Be behind your left hand. Your left hand is doing good. Now I need from time to time. That fellow Tiger was the spell Salas talking to Morata. He has Miguel Diaz in there with him, so he's got some serious uh, experience. Over in this corner, you have to question it right away when you see Nascimento with his arms up like that, making his heart work extremely hard as opposed to pulling those hands down and letting the blood flow down. Morata filled with confidence on his face. Got the blue with the red. Easily described as multicolored trunks. And Nascimento has the color of his um, Brazilian flag in his trunks, the yellow and the green. I love the way every once in a while Morata comes to that uppercut just to test Nascimento coming in. Very disciplined guy is Murata for his third professional fight. You know he had a ton of amateur fights and then he went through the Olympic program and amateur oh, boxing, oh. Oh. which is really good for him because he's had plenty of international competition. See, this is the jab that, that's a, more of a sticking jab than some fighters we've seen earlier tonight that just have the lazy jab. Morata defensively is also well protected here. Clips him with the right hand again. Asimento, he's not short. He gets a jab through that time, but no power behind it. The reason for that is that he punches off his front foot instead of driving off his back foot. And you watch Morata, when he comes at you with his jab, he's coming off the hind foot, and there's some power behind it. When a guy jabs, see, he's almost reaching with that jab. You see the other guy's getting some power. He turns his shoulder, comes with the uppercut. And even when he misses, he's got so much power with his jab. If he catches a guy in the wrist, his own glove punches him in the face. Is that important? I don't know. But I do know this. It's not good to get hit any more than you have to. Right hand got through again. Touched up the ear that time. Solid right hand. Morata to the right of the screen. It's a very good fighter. Morata's 27 years of age. Going through the Olympics, of course, he's older than a lot of guys when he turned pro. But in his case, it was just perfect for him because I can see now, as again told by uh, Nobu uh, Higoshima, that this guy is, uh, you know, just developing with every fight. And I can see the progress since the last time we saw him fight. In December, he stopped David Preston in the eighth round in that fight. And I see progress since that. Closing seconds now of the second round. He's controlled this entire round again. So nice, easy 10-9 round for Morata. Very good. Very good. Deep breathe. Deep breathe. 
Deep breathe. Deep breathe. Chotomate. Yes. This is Mr. Time. Salas. Yes. And working on the nice, nice, eyebrow, nice, nice, Mr. Nice. Diaz. Murata. And keep, when you work with your one two, you need to keep your one two in long distance, okay? One. Solid right hand shot. Solid right hand. That jab sets it up. So we like everything we're seeing from Barada. Now Cemento has come to fight, but he makes a lot of mistakes for a guy in over 30 professional fights. And I mean, this guy's got 22 knockouts. Uh, he still can be dangerous. Sneaky as Murata grabs and goes down on that left arm on the far side of the referee. Doesn't fool the ref for very long, but gets the job done. His Nascimento wants to pick it up a little bit here in round three, as his corner has told him. And Murata well able to handle it. I'm the Colonel Bob Shutter with Nikki Reyes. We're coming to you live from the Kotai Arena here in Macau in China. Years ago when I did my first fights in, in China, so many years ago, it was a big deal just getting out of China. We get Matt uh, Bridges and the crew from PSI getting us uh, all over the world tonight and that transmission people. <laughs> Missed some shots upstairs, but scored downstairs. Halfway through round three. This is scheduled for eight. Murata has won the first two rounds. Oh, he almost had him set up with that right hand. He was pushing back with his forearm under the chin. And I don't know if you noticed it, but he was taking the step off to the right. And he just couldn't get quite in position to really blast with the right hand. Nice uppercut. Drops that cemento back. And with all this time, that cemento's going to be in trouble here. Digging body shot downstairs. He's almost ready to go. He comes off the ropes. Another uppercut. In around the... Oh, these are solid shots. Right hands, right hands, and right hands. Nice uppercut. Boy, he's used that uppercut properly. Little shot. Tips him over. There's about 15 to 16 unanswered punches. He takes a standing eight count, which is a smart thing to do. He could have taken a knee and avoided some shots. 15 seconds now for him to work on him. Now, Cemento standing flat footed right in front of him. Not a place you want to be. Hard right hand again. See, he doesn't know how to cover up that left side of his hand. But he's out of time. Now the question is, can Nascimento recover in between rounds? Dipped over pretty hard with a liver shot in the end. You'll see that in the replay. You're doing very fine. But you have to be very smart now. Now you have to be very smart. Very Did you understand smart. Isabel Sella saying, now you've got to be very smart. And then you work with me. One, two, three, go. One, two, nice uppercut. That's the one that got him in the trouble. And then it was a couple of seconds later. Look at that uppercut. Drops him back there. And the body shot. And the left hook tipped him over. All right, here we go. This is round number four. Now, Samantha looks very flat-footed to me. He has the desire, but again, he's punching off that front foot, so he doesn't have any power 
And Murata realizes that I doubt this thing's going to go beyond this round because Nascimento is making too many mistakes and Murata is right on his game. Try to set him up again with the uppercut when he throws these big wide punches. Looping right hand catches him. The jaw. Hard right hand. Hard right hand again. That's the right hand I told you was going to cause him problems. And it is. This fight is all over. Referee says, I'm not going to let you land more than six or seven more punches after what you did in the last round. And he celebrates with Mr. Ismael Salas. By the way, Nikki Reyes is going to go in there and do an interview with Ryoto Morata. Oh, we look forward to that. So it started in the first round. A rather real successful. This is the end of the fight now. Digging body shots, clean shots. So you count all the clean body shots, especially to the head. This is another look at the end of the whole thing. And he just beats him down. But it was the about three or four hard head shots that made referee uh, Tabocom decide that that was it. I don't want him to take any more heavy shots. All right, here's Michael Buffer standing by. Let's get the official particulars. Here's Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Venetian Macau, the referee calls a halt to the contest at 43 seconds of round number four. The winner by TKO victory, the fighting pride of Japan, still undefeated, Ryota Murata. Ryota Murata came at 43 seconds of the fourth round, and it was a good one. Murata control things. Nikki's getting in there, and as soon as we're set, We'll have the interview for you. Bob Barham in there celebrating. By the way, Bob Barham and company have signed Mr. Murata. And it's the knockout again. Body shots, the third or fourth headshot, fifth headshot, sixth headshot, and the ref says that's it. All right, here's Nikki Reyes with Ryoto Morata. Go ahead, Nikki, take it away. Okay, I'm here with the winner, Ryoto Morata. Ryoto, you showed great discipline in that fight, landing some great uppercuts and body shots. Was that part of your game plan? Because you executed beautifully, if it was. So, yes, I think it really it went really well. It was uh, that uppercut in the third round that you caught him with. Did you know that you had him then when you hit him with that shot? So yes, I think I had. I felt that I had to get that, get that done right there and then. You have a lot of fans here tonight supporting you. What do you have to say to them, Ryoto? I'm very thankful that I'm, I was able to put on a great performance in a great crowd in a great arena. Thank you. Excellent. You look wonderful today. Congratulations on your win. Back to you, Colonel. All right. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, and uh, glad to see Nobu Ikoshima. And now here we go from the start of the fight where Ryoto Morata uh, showed that he was uh, going to be.